Hey guys, welcome back. This is Google Lens for Photos app. Before moving forward, make sure to hit the subscribe button so as to not miss any upcoming videos and also the bell icon for instant notifications on new uploads. So initially Google Lens was only available to Pixel phones and after that we got couple of mods to enable Google Lens on any Android but that required root access. Now Google started enabling lens preview feature with Google Photos app and this update is being rolled out to every Android phone. Do note that you need a Google account on your phone for this feature to work. This feature is yet to be available for Google Assistant and Google Camera app for other phones. If you haven't updated the Google Photos app, you'll only have the info screen instead of Google Lens. The Google Photos app version for which Google Lens feature is working is 3.15 ending with 7307. There's no need to enroll for Google Play Services beta, just add Google account and update the app via Play Store. Once the installation is done, just go to Google Photos app and see if Google Lens feature is enabled. If you are still seeing info screen, go to all apps on your respective phone, select Google Photos app, storage and clear data. Clearing data for Google Photos app won't create any problem for you as this is not a system app. Now go back to Google Photos and as you can see this Google Lens icon, second one to the right. Let's see how well this feature is working. When you click on the Google Lens icon, you get this get started screen which says Google Lens preview. So it can copy text such as phone numbers, dates, addresses, learn about landmarks and look up for media. First let's try this Yellowstone Park picture and see if Google Lens accurately finds it. The search takes about 3 to 5 seconds and yes, it is precise. Now let's try a book and as you can see it gave us the exact book link. This feature is also working fine on Redmi Note 5 Pro, same app version. Although this Google Lens is precise in few cases, it did fail when I tried to look up for a Blu-ray DVD. Not just once, it failed twice or thrice. Sometimes it's because of bad lighting, sometimes it was something else. I also tried to use Google Lens feature on a document which contains an address and a phone number. And as you can see, it did link the number to the dialer app and the exact address got copied. So it's a hit and miss for now. This feature is based on AI and now that this lens feature is being pushed out to every phone, I think it will get better in time. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video.